there, I'm Wizardtastic, and today we're going to be learning all about the element of art line. Now, line, a line really is a continuous moving part. If I were to make a mark on the page, it would be a dot. But if I would start to draw, that, can, that dot would be continuously moving and creating a line. Now, lines can be used to do a lot of amazing different things, right? A line can uh, be used to create texture, it can create value, it can create people, shapes, animals, and really, line is that basic necessity or tool that we need to use to make an artwork. Um, lines, can, lines can also be actual and they can also be implied. Another thing is that lines can also be used to express movement or emotion and it's really important to take advantage of and use line in our artworks. So let's dive in and make some art and learn a little bit more about the element of art line. If you're a teacher, make sure you head on over to the Ms. Artastic Teachers Pay Teachers Store by searching Ms. Artastic on TPT to find hundreds and hundreds of art lesson plans and resources that you can use in your classroom. They're all easy to use, kid friendly, engaging, and fully prepped so you can say bye bye to the stress and hello to success. Now let's head on in to this episode. We're going to take a look at some different types of lines. So there are diagonal lines and straight lines. There are dashed lines. There are zigzag lines. There are wavy lines. There are hatching lines. There are cross hatching lines. There is stippling. And lines can also be thick or thin. And there are other different lines as well. Um, but another great thing is, is that you can also use lines to create emotion, feeling, and movement. So lines are really important when creating an artwork. We're going to practice using line. First, we're going to head on over to the art studio. We're going to do a drawing, an emoji line art drawing. Yes, you get to draw an emoji with me and we're going to use line to create our practice line in the background to create a variety of different patterns and details. And then we're going to create a cat artwork and we're going to practice creating value and texture using line, um, using both hatching and cross hatching, and then using line to create that fur texture. So we're going to really practice using line in that. So let's dive on in, grab some art supplies, and let's make some art. All right. Let's do our emoji artwork. Let's begin with a circle in the center. And on each side, we're gonna draw a circle for the eye. And in each side of the eyes, we're gonna draw a smaller eye. Then you can color in the dark of the eyes, leaving just those circles white. Between the eyes, we'll draw a straight line, then connect with a letter U. Then from one side down to the bottom, we'll draw a curving line and color in the dark of the mouth, leaving just that tongue nice and white. And then I like to add a little dashed. lines around the edge. And then I'm gonna divide my background up into four different sections. Okay, first we're gonna start off with coloring in the emoji.
then you're gonna pick your choice colors and you're gonna do some line practice. We're gonna do zigzag lines in one. pick a second color and we'll do swirl lines this time. I'll do dashed. For the last ones, let's do thick, then thin. So I'm just turning my marker a different way to get a different line. Thick, thin, thick, thin. So we get to the bottom. And just like that, your emoji drawing is done. Let's make our cat. And we're gonna hatch with line. Line across. And we're gonna do little triangles up on each side for some ears. Zigzag lines. Down. And a little zigzags below to define the head. Triangles in the ears. Upside down triangle for a nose with two lines out. Circle on each side. And we'll color in the eyes, even a small circle white at the top. All right, let's do some shading. We're doing some hatching lines. These are small lines, and so now the closer they are, the darker the value. But if I space it farther apart, you can see here, it's lighter. So we'll do some spaced out lines out the sides. And then I'll go up the second time and do some smaller, closer together lines. Let's shade in the ears with some cross hatching. That means going both ways. And in the nose, we'll do cross hatching, going both ways. And under the eyes, we'll go cross hatching, so going both ways. And now you're ready to color. You can see we've used 
inclined to make the design, but also create darker areas and lighter areas. Now I'm gonna do a weird cat, so I'm gonna paint my cat purple. But you can paint your cat any color you want. And I'm just diluting it with some water so that way it can be a little bit more transparent or translucent so I can see my lines below. And it also makes it a little smoother. paint the inner ears and the nose with pink and then I'm going to take yellow I'm going to put some dots around the background for some texture Just like that, your cat is done. Well, my friend, that's it for this episode. If you have completed these artworks and you had tons of fun, please give this video a big thumbs up to show your appreciation and subscribe to this channel. If you complete these works and you snap a picture uh, with your phone, whatever device, make sure you so share them to social media and take me at Ms. Artastic or use the hashtag Ms. Artastic so that I can check out your completed works. As well, if you're looking for some more art ideas that you can do at home or in a classroom, grab my free guide up here. It's super easy to download and check out lots of different art ideas that you can do at home, anywhere, anytime. And if you're wanting to access my art lesson library full of hundreds of different art lessons, make sure you head on over to artastickids.com and join the Artastic kids online membership so you can make art anywhere anytime on any device using some really fun art mediums see you in the next episode